Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today is daily December day number 23, and I'm also back from holiday. Uh, this is the first episode in like a week, probably, that has not been pre-recorded. Um, so it's nice to see you all again. Uh, I have I've read all your, your comments. Uh, th these are some about what we're going to talk about today, which is if MCC should have a split, which we'll get into. Uh, also, I, I posted a main channel upload. Uh, at least I scheduled it for the start of my holiday. I think my staff took care of that uh, on other places, but uh, that happened. Um, so yeah, thank you all for your for your your comments about the little bit more personal videos. I, I posted three. I, I thought the break, or, or at least for me it was a break, but uh, I thought my time away was the best time to do it. Uh, and I, I got some info out that I probably would never really share otherwise. So. That's all, all fine and dandy, all good. Uh, today we're going to be talking about MCC split question mark. Uh, should it happen? Maybe, maybe not. Um, this is mostly in response to my Reddit post that I made uh, before I went on holiday, which uh, would be like five days ago, six days ago, um, where I presented a simple question uh, being. Do you want MCC Season 3 to become more competitive, less competitive, or stay the same? I uh, presented a lot of, you know, I, I presented the positives and the negatives and whatever happens for every single option. And a lot of people shared their thoughts, which is what I asked for, because that is good. Um, and I, I saw a lot of people say, why can't we have both competitive and uh, non-competitive events frequently? And... Uh, I mean, that's probably possible. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't host MCC, so I just, you know, I, I, I just said for the normal MCC, which is the ones with the, the larger numbers, so like 29, MCC 29, 20, uh, 30, 31, like whatever next ones are, the, the canon ones in quotation marks, uh, are, are usually kind of the same every single time. If they switched those up, that'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. If, if they did more competitive, less competitive, like every other, or like uh, competitive mid, like uh, in the normal, the normal one, whatever, and then less competitive and just uh, cycled through those, that would be perfect. Uh, throw in some non, uh, non-canon non events in there, like an all-stars to replace the competitive one, uh, an underdogs to throw to replace the the less competitive one, whatever. You, you get my point, right? <laughs> it doesn't have to be exactly all-stars because that's a little weird if you have that multiple times a year because that's supposed to be like the big one. Um, but if they if they were to, swa uh, to sw switch every now and then, that would be perfect. I, I didn't present that uh, option because that's not exactly what I um, wanted to quote-unquote prove uh, in my, uh, in my, in my uh, post. Because I just wanted to share, like, what are the consequences uh, for if MCC goes in in one direction? Mainly to show that if it doesn't change, that's not a good thing. Um, so yeah. Either way, I, I I assume you want the answer to the question: Should MCC split? Very simple answer: No, definitely not. <laughs> and if you're confused why it's even being brought up, it's because of probably block wars. So, um, Block Wars is, uh, had a split, uh, like two months ago. Uh, it was pre in preparation many, many months before, like, uh, starting June, I think, or uh, July. I don't remember exactly, but, uh, I presented it to, uh, one of the owners, um, cause there was a problem happening, uh, with, uh, with Block Wars. And that was that, um, the, the roster wasn't cohesive. You had content creators and um, either non-content creators or uh, smaller content creators, both in the same pool. And what you would end up with is usually getting uh, a team that's like, uh, uh, mo most of it is, is content creators or a team that's basically entirely non-content creators. And it's not that easy to mix. Um, also, there were restrictions to adding either more friends or more content creators because of the other half of the event being there because fitting people in is not easy when you have such different parts of a, a roster to work with so we had a split um as you can see here this is what 
a usual Block Wars team announcement looks like and the type of people that are in Block Wars. You have Captain Sparkles, you have Anna Magician, you have some Lifesteal people, you have Krenios, you have Joko, you have Boomer, uh, you know, it's Small Ant, uh, people like that. You have like a, a big variety of creators. Uh, and then when you go back to, uh, or when you scroll back up, you see Origins. Looks different. Uh, it's the same event, technically, uh, when when you look at the gameplay, but um, uh, you know, uh, player wise, it's different. And then we've we've made sure to make the um, the announcements different as well, uh, just to make sure people aren't confused, or at least to minimize the amount of confusion. But you see. Now, these are all different people. These are people you probably will never see in Block Wars, I, I think. Uh, let, me, let me see if there's one. Um, maybe Ava, maybe... Uh, only Pink Team are the people that could end up ever play good Block Wars, really. But for the most part, a lot of the players here don't really care or want to. And they're perfectly fine in, in this bubble. And that's why we did a split. Because having people mixed... That didn't really make sense. Um, having people separated uh, in their own little bubbles worked completely fine. Uh, anyways, so MCC should not split. However, the idea of swapping every once in a while uh, obviously it brings a lot of question marks because what does that entirely mean? Uh, how harsh do you have to bench people? Would some regulars get benched? Probably not. Kind of like like a fruit berries, maybe because fruit is just that good at the game. Obviously, if you give him like, uh, for example, uh, three simmers, with exception for Zeus. If you give him the other three simmers, so you replace Zeus with fruit, maybe that could be fair. Or I don't I don't know. Depending on the balancing, obviously, it it, it could be entirely different. Either way, uh, how does that work, right? Like Scott, Shelby, and Wilbur will probably be fine. Maybe in a cracked version, like the the super high competitive one, maybe like Wilbur or or Shelby would not be able to play. Um, that does depend on how hard they want to go on competitive event. Like, do they want to do Fruit Ninja plus like Joel plus like Zeus as a team? Like, it could it could go any direction. Um, so how does that really work? Well, I, I guess we'll never know uh, unless they do it. Um, here are some examples of, of like uh, how you would maybe approach uh, uh, like a <laughs> like a separated version. Uh, here's Rising, which I don't really know why I brought this one up, <laughs> but here's Rising. Um, I mean, it has some some teams that like let, let's say like Owen and Eloise weren't in Noxer. I could see. You, uh, Two, maybe three of Orange uh, be in MCC regularly, maybe in a more competitive setting as well. Uh, I could see like Heike Hate Me getting in a more competitive one. Obviously, Cyan is a very much requested team to return. I do think the only person with a slight chance is Boosfer, um, considering he actually has connections uh, to some of the players, which I don't think people realize how important that actually is. Uh, especially when you look at some people that get added to the event and like their viewership and some people who don't get added and then their viewership and you, and you see that the numbers are what it's all about. Um, I could see maybe Rosary getting in uh, a more competitive one. Obviously Jojo and Blush are already in. I could see Nestor and Silver get in as well. Uh, so yeah. Like, there's some people from Rising that could still be in a more competitive setting or a less competitive setting. I, I mean, Max GG's could maybe get into Bilzo, same same thing. Um, then you look at Underdogs. Now, this is the, the prime example of a lower-skilled event, and it, it showed how, like, entertaining that is uh, from the response from the community to, to how the event, you know, runs and, like, the people that were in it. Uh, obviously, there's still some... Uh, like debate on whether uh, like purple team winning really uh, defines underdogs, which probably doesn't, but like, does it really matter that much? Uh, <laughs> MCC's naming of events has not been that great either way. Like underdogs 
technically had underdogs, but like, uh, like Kara subbed in on green. Kara technically has won before. Does that completely ruin it? No. Who cares? It's like I get the point. Like if if green team had won, people would have probably complained. Like. Kara's already won, whatever. Blushy technically already also won already. I'm pretty sure people brought that up. But like whatever. Like if Blushy winning means that she shouldn't qualify, then why is Foolish there? I think. I th I'm pretty sure he's won before. Anyways, you get my point. Um so yeah, I, I don't know. Uh this is a good example of a lower skilled event. I mean, some of these teams probably aren't as balanced as others. Like I, I feel like Cyan with Maybe one or two extra events on their back could just be very good. Maybe they they had like a a one off day where they just did really well. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like here's some people that you could put in the lower skilled version. So as you can see, there's a, there's a contrasts. Some people from Rising would be good for for a higher skilled one. Uh, obviously, people like Misty or me or Lifesteal or whatever. Also pretty good players or likely to be good players would also be good candidates for that. Here are some people that you could pick for a lower skilled ones with obviously some exceptions like Firebreath Man, Creecraft maybe, uh, perhaps Cyan Team, uh, but you know, I, we'll, we'll find out if, if they ever do it. Uh, and here's All Stars. Not really sure why, why I brought this one up. I guess this is uh, generally seen as the more competitive setting of, of how things would go, even though this one like all stars wasn't like particularly uh like a strong one obviously red team was nuts um yellow returning really strong team uh lime actually probably very good lime doesn't have a single like bad player i think i don't remember if, if sylvie already had like a pop-off arc uh, at this at this point but uh, in in a more current or like a more recent mcc setting i feel like lime team would be in insanely good um, obviously cyan team, pretty good. Uh, blue team is the, the blue bats. That one returns, but like, obviously the, not very balanced, but to be fair, how would you balance, uh, <laughs> an event where you can literally only get 40 players while still trying to make some interesting teams? It's not easy, uh, speaking from experience. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that, that, per, that, that ends up my my talk about mcc split and 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 how you would approach it uh feel free to um to talk about it in the comments uh, i'll i'll read your comments again uh and and whatever um sorry if this one is a little messy i <laughs> i haven't done this in like a week so i, I i'm not very accustomed to it uh, yet um but yeah i mean some people respond to responding to my post agreed with me some people disagreed and some people presented this option of doing both which makes sense people have different different opinions that's why politics is a thing uh anyways thank you all for watching and i will see you tomorrow with i think tomorrow's video might be uh my ideal mcc return if i haven't done that again uh, I, I don't know if i've already done that but either way uh, i'll see you tomorrow goodbye